Mr Speaker, it's very interesting that even those Brexiteers who've made Brexit their life's work are concerned about their own financial interests. The Honourable Member for North East Somerset, for example, is relocating his hedge fund to the Eurozone. The Honourable Member for Wokingham is advising his clients to disinvest in Britain. First of all, I hope that the House will be quiet as we hear the point of order from Mr Jacob Rees-Mogg. Taking my point of order earlier than normal, the Right Honourable Gentleman, the Leader of the Opposition, referred to me in his comments earlier. Now, he's only been a member of the House for 35 years, so he may not have learnt the form that it is considered good form to tell other members in advance when you are going to refer to them. But that is not the point. What the Right Honourable Gentleman said was false in all respects. My company does not actually run any hedge funds, so to have moved a hedge fund would have shown a remarkable acrobatic nature within the business. But we have not, in fact, moved a fund out of this country. And I wondered if he might like to take this opportunity, as he is still in the Chamber, to set the record straight, rather than be otherwise a peddler of false news, or perhaps guilty of terminological inexactitude. I know that terminological inexactitude is of unfailing interest to the Honourable Gentleman, who appreciates the historical significance of the term that he's just used, and is perfectly open to the Leader of the Opposition to come to the box if he wishes to do so. Order! 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 But he, but he, order! Order! All, these, all this hand-waving is rather unseemly, but the Right Honourable Gentleman isn't under any obligation to do so. The Honourable Gentleman's made his point, and it's on the record, and I thank